How's it going guys, my name is Flamers and welcome back to Dragon Ball Xenoverse and we're doing another Masters uh, Trophy Achievement today um, as per usual when you're doing these Masters make sure that you are keeping a track of the reputation bar uh, on the right hand side of the portrait there and uh, once you get them to max you should be on the last quest um, so yeah we're doing Vegeta today, we're doing Saiyan training <laughs> Um, you need to be level 8 and completed the Saiyan Saga for Vegeta to appear and uh, as per usual the first quest is nice and easy uh, you just have to get Vegeta to just under half HP I think Okay, there we go, he's down. I don't know why I was actually letting him sort of hit me at the start there. Uh, I think I just went a bit brain dead at the start. Okay, so that's the first one out of the way. And we unlock the first skill, which is Gallic Gun, which is a skill that everybody looks forward to. Um, personally, I mean, I'm not a key blast person. I've trained up on melee most, mostly. Um, but for the next quest, uh, make sure you do lots of parallel quests. And uh, my next quest appeared. I think it was about a quarter of the reputation bar. Um, so yeah. Uh, as per usual, I'll go over the, the new skills as well, as well as showing you the missions, um, just so you have an idea what the skills are like. Gallic Gun is very much similar to the Kamehameha Wave, except for it's, it's a lot uh, quicker to cast, but doesn't do as much damage. Um, now, obviously, it's ideal if you are a Key Blast uh, fighter. But for me, it's not necessarily that great because I try to use uh, strikes uh, more than anything. But let's just buff up to Super Saiyan and I can show you. Um, and there it is, there's a Gallic Gun. And just to note, on this second mission, we do have to beat Vegeta with the Gallic Gun. Uh, so make sure you've got lots of key ready to when he's at low HP. Um, so yeah, you need to make sure that the, the opponent is in front of you. The problem with the Kamehameha and the Gallic Gun and these sorts of attacks, Still they're very weak, linear, they're really easy to avoid, um, less so with the Gallic Gun because it's quite quick to cast, so it's a little less easier to avoid, um, what? What but yeah, it's, it's a bit weaker than the actual Kamehameha Wave. Okay, so that's the second one out of the way, and we unlock the Finish Breaker. <laughs> oh, and just while we're here, there is a um, an, an item quest. And on this item quest, we have to collect the Z Soul. Um, oh, I forgot what it was. I'm sure you've just seen it on the screen there. And basically, you have to go to the parallel quest five, just over here. Where's five? No, 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 no. Okay, parallel quest five. You just press uh, across, and there you see I'm the strongest on earth. That's the Z soul we're after, and you need to make sure that you clear all of the Cybermen uh, in each of the segments. And once you defeat um, Vegeta, he'll come, he'll revive, and his mates Raditz and Nappa will come and help him. And you should unlock, well, should um, retrieve the Z soul. I'm the strongest on earth. Now, luckily for me, I've already got it, so I'll just hand it over to Vegeta, and that's that quest out of the way, nice and easy. So, I've done a lot more parallel quests, um, been getting that reputation bar up nice and slowly. Uh, it does take so long. Um, <laughs> it tends to drag a little bit, but to be honest, uh, I need to get loads of skills from the parallel quests, so I don't mind. Uh, redoing them over and over again that too much now, let's begin. okay so in this we just need so to defeat Vegeta and we both well, start with low HP uh, so it's nice leader. if you could bring Defense some out. health potions with you on this one just in case because Vegeta does buff up a little bit and I'll sh quickly show you the finish breaker 
Now you might recognise it. It looks quite similar to the standard um, key blast that you get with just holding circle, such as that one. Except it looks a little bit stronger. It's a little bit quicker. Now the only downfall with it is uh, obviously it uses key energy, and it sort of loses accuracy with range. Uh, if if you guys quite far away, um, the blasts sort of go go off a little bit. They're not entirely accurate. Whereas your normal key blasts with circle are accurate, but they don't do as much damage. So it's a nice it's a nice um, key blast. Uh, definitely looks nice. Um, not something I'd use obviously because I'm melee, but it's pretty good. There it is again. Just so you can see, it, towards the end really, uh, it gets less and less accurate. Not bad. <coughs> okay, let's see, third one done. Now it's just a long grind uh, to get this last quest. And we do unlock... There. You may actually um, be worth training. What's it called again? Oh, darn. Shine shot. Uh, <laughs> I was a little bit disappointed with this. Um, I'll show you in a second. As you can see there, I've got max reputation with Vegeta now. And obviously the last quest has appeared. And... This is a little harder. It's not too bad though. But yeah, the shine shot for me initially I was quite disappointed considering it's the third skill you unlock with Vegeta it seemed pretty weak now I'll show you there it is it's just a single shot really quick which is probably one it's one of its best things uh, but it doesn't do a lot of damage now the only thing I can think of what this would might be useful for is interruptions. As you can see there, uh, Vegeta was just spamming key blasts, and I was just moving to the left, and I just spammed it because it sort of pushes you in a direction. I was going left that way, and it just throws this really really quick key blast. Even though it doesn't do a lot of damage, it sort of interrupts them. Now, if you're watching this and you know that the shine shot actually interrupts. Uh, ultimate attacks. Please leave a comment in the section uh, in the section below, uh, just to confirm that. Uh, I was just thinking that as I was doing this video, whether it does interrupt ultimate attacks. If it does, then it it would be a really useful skill, in fact, uh, rather than just using triangle and circle to try and interrupt uh, ultimate attacks. Uh, something which has really limited range. So yeah, if you know it definitely does, please 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 let me know, uh, so that everybody else can benefit. So yeah, we're just gonna finish the GT off now, and uh, I'll show you the ultimate attack that you unlock. Okay, so we've uh, completed the last fight with Vegeta, and uh, yeah, a little bit tougher that one, but we've unlocked the final flash ultimate attack, and I'll quickly show you that. There's the trophy there, Saiyan training, uh, finally out of the way, uh, ready to go on to my next master, and this is final flash. Um, Obviously great for Key Blast users, uh, not so great for me, but uh, it's, a, it's a nice looking attack. Uh, now it's better to use this towards the end of combos, uh, make sure that they are really close. Um, the attack does do more damage the closer they are, and you've got more chance to actually, um, actually hit them. Because again, it's a very basically linear bolt really. Uh, quite easy to avoid if, if you know your opponent is paying attention. Um, I actually prefer the sort of the big balls. 
because they tend to move towards the opponent and they can come backwards if the opponent's right next to you as well. Um, so yeah, that's Keyblast. Uh, Keyblast. That's the final flash. Uh, so yeah, that's it from me for now, guys. Um, if you found this helpful, please leave a like. And I'll see you again soon for another Masters video. So take care for now. Bye-bye.